Sunday mornings on Radio 2. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Whatever you need to say, say it with Steve Wright's Sunday Love Songs. I just want to say... She's a wonderful person. I cannot think of anyone else I'd rather be with. Take me into your loving arms. Celebrating birthdays, anniversaries and everything in between. I was just wondering if you could play a love song for both my parents. Please play a love song for my wife. Please play a song for my lovely mummy and daddy. Sunday Love Songs. This guy is still in love with you, baby. Sunday mornings from nine Aww. on BBC Radio 2. Every time me and Bobby got, oh, don't wait that last yeah. bit. Steve, nine o'clock, of course, Sundays. It wouldn't be Sunday without Love Songs and Steve. <laughs> Such a great show. What have you got, please, Bobby? Uh, thank you, Sarah. A1M on the northbound side. Breakdown at 64 for Washington, causing queues. One lane out. M62 eastbound. They are holding the traffic at 22 Wishworth Moor. In those big queues, we've got another accident, and it's pretty solid through there already. Uh, to the M6 on the southbound side, 16 Stoke-on-Trent, broken down lorry. One lane is shut. Northbound, we had a big queue between 16 and 17. That queue is now up at 19, making its way to 23 at Haydock. So it's a big northbound queue through there. Uh, to the M1 southbound at 17 for Coventry we've got an accident one lane is shut the M11 awful news now northbound closed 5 to 6 so they've shut it from Loughton to the M25 solid queues all affecting the North Circular and on the A12 this is going to be ongoing by the way for some time so give it a miss if you can and to the M25 anti-clockwise pothole repairs 6 to 5 we've got one lane shut over the QE2 bridge we've got queues still from 29 following the broken down lorry which is gone M4 now, first of all, if you're on the westbound side, we had an accident at 8 at Maidenhead to 10. Still got two lanes shut, still got huge queues. Also eastbound between 10 and 8, there are another two lanes close to roadworks, so queues both ways. Nearly there, M5 southbound. We've got at Junction 4 for Bromsgrove, two lanes still shut following an earlier accident with big queues back to 3 at Quinton. Another one, half an hour. A lot of parents be saying that now, stuck in that traffic. We're <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. Thank you very much, Bobby. Right, uh, Fran here. I'm driving down from Hampshire to Devon to go wedding dress shopping tomorrow with my friend Rachel. Oh, that'll be so much fun. Oh, you can have some glasses of bubbles. Rachel is marrying Jonah in June. Let's hope we find the dress tomorrow. Yes, will she say yes to the dress? And that the A303 is kind to me tonight. Is the A303 looking all right, Bobby? Well, it's kind Busy, but busy. It's, it's moving. Let's be busy, but it's busy, but it's moving. That's all you need. Charlotte Tiller, hello, Charlotte. Hi, Sarah. Describe your exact you? location, please. I'm currently at Cooper's Beach in Mercy Island with um, my friends to celebrate our wonderful friend Loz's 50th birthday. So all the ladies have gathered. Susie, Lisa, and Loz have they all arrived? Yes, we're all here. We've got onto the first glass of wine, so all going well. Excellent. And you, what are you staying in? In some sort of shepherd's hut or some mansion? Oh, uh, a caravan, a actually. Caravan. But it's very nice. Little, very mod, all the mod cons. Uh, Mercy Island, I really want to go there. What's it like? So is it off the coast of Essex or is it... That's right, yeah. yeah. And we can see the sea just mm. about from the window. So, yeah, it's all good. And you can only drive onto it at certain times a day because of the tide. Is that right? Yeah, so luckily we got here at the right time. So, yeah, we managed to get on. We might not be able to get off, but we got on. Well, you might get stranded there with all that wine. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Woo-hoo. Tell us about Loz. How long have you known Loz for? Oh, we've known each other for over 20 years. We used to work together when we were back in our 20s and now we're celebrating her big milestone. But if you ask Loz, she's actually going backwards, so she's only 48. OK, fantastic. We'll accept that for sure. Uh, yeah. Apart from the yeah. wine, anything else going on this weekend? Gin? <laughs> uh, yeah, gin, prosecco, <laughs> beers. Uh, yeah, we might actually venture out of the caravan and have a l- little walk along, get a bit of sea air. Oh, it's going to be such a laugh, though, isn't it? There's going to be some real brilliant moments, I reckon, this weekend. Some proper belly yeah, laughing. Um, tell oh, us sure. why we're playing uh, this tune. So we want to play this tune because it reminds us all of Loz and uh, she was the one that taught us all the dance routines. So I think once you start playing it, we might be dancing around the lounge. Fantastic. And all the uh, all the girls in the caravan now, are they near you just being they very are, quiet? Yeah, I'm, I'm hiding. I'm <laughs> hiding in one of the bedrooms currently and they're all listening in the lounge. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to get a whoop off them, but uh, yeah. They're... Oh, I can get, I'm oh, sure. It's not that big. I can get a whoop. <laughs> Make your way through. Girls, give us a whoop. Give us a whoop. <laughs> That'll do perfectly. Happy birthday to Lottie. It's your tune. Thanks, Charlotte. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. Bye.